the ducks on the duck house are a nesting pair of mallards. They showed up here on the 14th of February. They showed up a little after midnight, which is a little strange because ducks don't fly at night. I think they're part of the flock that's been here year-round, which uh, flies away at night. But they, mu they must, wherever they go at night, it must be somewhere close. And with all the lights I've got out there and just a short trip, it's not... Uh, that uh, difficult that they would have flown at night. So the females made a nest on the far side of the pond and she goes in there every night and lays an egg. She comes out a few hours later so she's not ready to hatch them yet which would be right because when a uh, mother duck hatches her babies they all hatch at the same time and she can only lay one egg a day so I would guess that, you know, she waits until all her eggs are laid and then she hatches them. Um, I think the next slide is, yeah, you get to see her going into the nest. She's pretty cautious about going into that nest. She looks all around for a while to make sure that, <laughs> that nobody's watching her go in there. And uh, the duck, uh, the other duck there in the water is Sid. And her her male mate is close, but just a little out of sight of the camera. But you can see her slipping into the nest. Like I said, she stays in there for a few hours, lays an egg, and then she comes back out. In this slide, you can see her coming out of the nest. Uh, there's some interesting ducks here. The, uh, there's going to be another pair that shows up in a minute. There we go. That duck that's just swimming in is a wood duck. And uh, the wood duck's got a mate. Yeah, here she comes. She's out of the nest. Yeah, her mate's right there with her. It's the other female. And the wood duck has been with the mallards for three years that I know of. And that's a little unusual. Wood ducks are solitary. They don't usually travel with a flock. But anyway, that wood duck does. And they're very pretty. They're fun to watch. Oh, she slipped out of the nest again. And the boys are after her. This is this is interesting. Look at this. These ducks just grab onto her, drag her out of the nest, and brutalize her. And the poor thing. I did read that during mating season like this, that uh, the males can be so brutal that they actually even kill the female. Uh, this is uh, this morning, the 26th. This is kind of sad. You're going to see a, a wolf found the nest. And I've watched this a few times. I can't really tell what the wolf is, whether the wolf is eating the eggs or not. But it's just, you can see it's a little, little after 4, 4.30. And she's there getting ready to go into her nest. But as the wolf is coming up, obviously she's not going to go in the nest. And I guess, you know... The, Silver lining, she wasn't in the nest when the wolf got there, so that's a good thing. Yeah, there she is right there. You can see her on the right side of the screen looking at the wolf. She's there, her mate's there, and here comes Sid. And I'm sure that's a wolf. There's, there's two distinguishing factors. When it comes out from behind the nest, you can see it a little better. One of the distinguishing factors is how big it is. It's got extremely long legs. It's a large animal. And coyotes would be the alternative. Coyotes don't get that big. That's a big animal. And the other factor is, I think all of the ducks, but I know my duck for sure, is absolutely terrified at dogs. She will fly to the farthest side of the pond and get as far away from a dog as she can. And, you know, I've talked about all the big dogs the neighbors have that come over here and menace my ducks. And every single time those dogs have come here, that's been what's happened. She's flown to the farthest side of the net, uh, pond and gotten as far away as she could. And here you can see she's not, uh, not having a problem with that animal. She knows that there's some water between her, but if that was a dog, she'd be gone. She wouldn't be there. 
So by elimination there's nothing left. It's big, it's canine, it has to be a wolf. And I, I've seen enough wolves that I can tell you it's awfully hard to tell a wolf from a big dog. Uh, a wolf and a German Shepherd look, boy they look identical. You, it, it, the distinguishing factor if you don't have a scientific way with blood or whatever is is their their how they act their habits there, there's really no other way they look so close to each other but anyway here we are the female can't get to her nest the wolf is there there was a muskrat right now well, there was a muskrat right in front of that nest about five minutes before the wolf came and they, we passed that part, but the wolf was sniffing right where the muskrat was. And the last thing about not about how the ducks react around that animal, as that animal leaves, you're going to see the ducks follow that animal. They would never do that with a dog, and it just it it, it just it surprises me. I just I I just can't for the life of me understand why those ducks would want to follow that wolf. I mean, they're safe, you know, they've got that water between them. Even if the wolf lunged, their ducks are fast. But, so they're safe, but damn. Still, why would they want to follow that wolf? And this is the widest view, this is the last slide. And you can see the wolf, it's a little hard, but you can see the wolf in the woods. There's, there's its eyes. And you can see the ducks following the wolf until it gets down to the dam. So, I don't think she's going to go back to that nest. I haven't decided if I'm going to take her eggs and hatch them or not. Maybe.